For all the praise Google gets for how clean its Pixel software experience is, one of the biggest issues a lot of users have with their software is the Pixel launcher. And that's because frustratingly, Google insists on giving its users almost no ability to customize it. Now, of course, we still have basic options like material icon theming, we have widget support, and there's some fun things that you can do with wallpapers, but the main issue really lies with just two aspects of the home screen, this search bar widget down the bottom and this at a glance widget at the top, both of which, for some crazy reason, Google has decided to make completely unremovable. And it's these two widgets alone that make the Pixel Launcher, hands down, the worst launcher for customization across all OSs. And I'm even including iOS in this conversation. And that's because even though other software skins might provide similar sort of limited levels of customization flexibility, no other OEM ships unremovable widgets on the home screen. And so because these other launches let you remove everything from the home screen, you're then able to use third-party widget packs like KWGT, for example, to make beautiful looking home screen setups like what you're seeing on screen right now. In fact, I've made several videos showing you how to do exactly that with notoriously difficult to customize software skins like HyperOS and even iOS. And this setup that you're seeing on screen right now, which is my go-to home screen setup, I've even been able to recreate it on other devices like the OnePlus 13, the Motorola G04, and even the Nothing Phone 3. And all of these setups were made using each phone's respective stock launcher. But the one launcher that you can't recreate this exact setup on is, you guessed it, the Pixel Launcher. And again, that's thanks to those two unremovable widgets. Except believe it or not, there is actually a backdoor method that we can use to hide this annoying at a glance widget. And so that is exactly what this video is gonna unpack. And the best part is that it does not require you to unlock root access. Now, if you want a full breakdown on how to recreate the rest of this setup, then feel free to check out my in-depth pixel customization video using the link in the cards. But with that said, let's dive in. Okay, so the process of hiding our at a glance widget is all thanks to two apps, Smart Spacer and Shizuku. Smart Spacer is a third party app that I actually first featured on the channel all the way back in December of 2023. And it's actually been designed to essentially put the at a glance widget on steroids. You just use the app to create what are called targets, which are basically different pages that you can scroll between on your at a glance widget. But what's amazing is that one of the available target options is a blank target. And when set up, this completely hides the at a glance widget. Now you are only hiding it, you're not removing it. So you still won't be able to make use of that space. Like you won't be able to add icons or widgets in its place, for example. But even just for visually cleaning up the home screen, this is still a fantastic workaround. So to get this working, we need to set up our second app, which is called Shizuku, which will allow Smart Spacer to access the necessary system API permissions that are required to tap into the at-a-glance widget. To get Shizuku to work, we first need to enable our phone's developer options, which we can do by coming into our phone settings, then scrolling down to the About Phone section, then coming to the bottom where it says Build Number and tapping that seven times until your pin shows. Once you've entered your pin, you'll see that it says that you're now a developer and we can now come back and open up this system section here. Then if we scroll down a bit, you'll see this new developer options section. And with that now enabled, let's come back into the Shizuku app. And now we'll tap this option here where it says pairing. Then we'll tap where it says developer options and open this option here that says wireless debugging. If it's not enabled yet, make sure that you enable it. But from there, we just need to tap pair device with pairing code. Then you'll see a notification that says enter pairing code. And we just need to tap that and enter the pairing code on screen. And once done, we can tap on submit. Now we can come back into the Suzuku app, then come back once, then tap here where it says start. And if all has gone well, Shizuku should become activated. And if you're unsure whether it's worked or not, just check up here. And if it says Shizuku is running, then you're good to go. Now we can open up the Smart Spacer app and go through the setup process, but when we get to this enhanced mode section, we wanna to toggle it on, then tap on allow all the time. Once that's done, we'll keep going through the setup process, which I'm gonna speed up because it's just a bunch of hitting next over and over. But once complete, all we need to do is on this first targets page here, we need to tap here where it says add target, then open this drop down menu and then tap this blank target option. And if you've already used the Smart Spacer app before, then for reference, if you want a completely blank at a glance widget area, then you need to make sure that the blank target option is the only target that you have set up. Then from there, all we need to do is come over to the settings page, then tap on native Smart Space and toggle it on. Smart Spacer will then restart your phone's system UI, which will take you back to your lock screen. But check this out, once we unlock our phone and come back home, boom, our at a glance widget is completely gone. How good is that? 
There's only two things to keep in mind. The first of which is that anytime you reboot your phone, you will need to repeat the process of re-enabling Shizuku and then re-enabling the native smart space option. But as you just saw, it's not an awfully complex process and you don't even need access to a computer, so it's not the worst. And the other thing that I found is that sometimes the at a glance widget will reappear randomly. Often it's when you've changed your phone's wallpaper or your phone's system theme has changed, for example. But if this does ever happen, the quickest fix is to reopen the Smart Spacer app, then come to the settings page, and then down to this targets and complications section. And you just open that. And then I found that switching this setting between do not hide and hide seems to trigger Smart Spacer to reactivate. And that's it. That is how you hide the at a glance widget on the Pixel Launcher. And if you're wondering what's going on down here with the search bar, well, that's thanks to a custom KLWP file that I created, which essentially separates that search bar section into its own area, which in theory is supposed to give you a bit of visual differentiation to create a completely unique looking setup in this area up here. I covered this in way more detail in that how to customize your Pixel phone video. So check that out if you want the full rundown, but I'll also link the KLWP preset file down below, which you can download for free. And I'm not saying that it's a perfect solution. In fact, it's far from it. But as someone who has always hated the search bar widget, I have found that it does visually provide at least a little bit of relief. And in fact, I ended up using this exact setup on my Pixel 10 instead of my usual go-to solution using a third-party launcher. But fingers crossed, someone can figure out a backdoor method to hide in the search bar widget at some point in the future, like what we can do with the at-a-glance widget. Oh, and speaking of third-party launchers, for those wondering why I don't just use a third-party launcher to essentially gain back complete customization control and hide both the at-a-glance and search bar widgets, well, that's because third-party launchers just simply do not play that nice with Android's gestural navigation system. Sure, on Pixel phones, the experience is definitely possible, but as soon as you switch from using a third-party launcher to using the default Pixel launcher and you see just how much smoother it is, by golly, is it hard going back to the janky experience it is using a third-party launcher in comparison. I've implored Google in several videos, asking them to provide a once and for all fix for how third-party launchers perform in conjunction with gestures. And to be fair, as I said, they've come a long way, but there's still a long, long way to go. And as such, I almost always prefer avoiding third-party launches. And so that is it. That is how you can hide the at-a-glance widget on Google Pixel phones. If you enjoyed the video, then a sub would be greatly appreciated. But that's it. Thank you all very much for watching and I will catch you later.